Good. Yeah, calm. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give our praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim, Rakaq Wadash. Double honor to the elders and our apostles, the great millstone that taught us the truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother Iwa Lummi, joined with. I don't know. Yeah, we come back at you, brothers and sisters, you know, with another lesson. You know, basically entitled, you know, basically the uh, the prophets are back. You know, because Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, through each generation, you know, even going back to the beginning, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, always sent this prophets out, you know, to warn the people. You know, whether it be a kingdom fallen, whether, you know, be telling Israel to repent, you know, throughout each generation, you know, the Lord has always sent his prophets out, even into this current uh, generation right now that we're currently in, you know, bringing, uh, uh, speaking, you know, uh, towards the destruction and downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. The first scripture I have is uh, Second Edris, uh, 1 Second Nedris, 1 and 38. It says, and now, brother, behold, what glory and see the people that come from the east. Right, come from the east because I believe what the known world at that time, you know, we was over there. What in uh, the known world at that time, you know, before you know the tribes came over here to the side of the uh, world, you know, we have prophets over there on the uh, the, that's what we call what the known world, you know. It says, and to whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, Hosea, Amos, and uh, and uh, and uh, and Mike and Micah, and, yeah, Micah. Joel and Obadiah and Jonas, Nahum and Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah and Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. Right. These are the different prophets that you have by Shimei Al-Shai set, uh, set up throughout the generations, you know, to warn our people, to tell our people to repent. You know, these same men are back today in their lot, you know, to um to tell our people the same thing, you know, tell our people, you know, uh, uh about the upcoming day of the Lord, telling our people to repent. Telling our people that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, the Lord has, has always sent his messengers out, you know, to uh you know to give a message to the people, you know. I got um uh, um um Revelation ten on your list. Revelation ten? Yeah, you got on your list. Yeah, Revel uh, Revelation ten and eleven. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, um, all right. Of Daniel. Let me see. Uh you said the Daniel, uh Khan Daniel twelve and thirteen. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll get you right after Revelation. Con, con. This is Revelation 10 and, um, and 10. It says, And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Con. I was talking about the truth, man. All right? And that book is the scriptures. All right? And why is it sweet? Because, we, because we're going to get the kingdom. We're going to get salvation. All right? We're going to be a, 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 be in rulership. All right, but it's better why because we gotta go through this damn uh, go through this hell to get to the kingdom, right? That's mm -hmm. straight gate. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings, man. I just to talk about how um, uh, we're, we're gonna get it mm -hmm. by standing our lot, but also too that um 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 uh, uh, the spirit of prophecy also to the prophets too, you know. Uh -huh. And it also proves reincarnation. That's right. You know that I, you know, the same man is back in that lot, which I'm gonna get right now in that Daniel's uh, the twelfth chapter. You know, you know, we're back in our lot doing the same thing, same thing as these niggas are back in their lot right now. But you know, referring back into the prophets, uh, this is the book of um, this is the book of Daniel's twelve and thirteen, and it reads, "But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot in the end of days." Right, we're in the end of days right now. To say we're at the end of the end of days right now because the end of days started when Yahweh was crucified. You know, that was the beginning of the end of days or the last days, as people uh, like to say, you know. But what? The prophets are standing back in their light in, uh, in the end of days, which is right now, you know. I'm going to read that again. This is the book of Daniel 12 and 13. It says, But go thou thy way till the end be. We're in the end right now. For thou shalt rest and stand in thy light at the end of days. Right? We're in the end of days. You know, like I just mentioned before, you know, preaching unto the people. As the scriptures say, there is no new thing under the sun. You know, we're preaching to the people, bringing the, uh, the uh, you know, speaking about the downfall and destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America. You know, like the prophets of old did. Hey, big guy, can I grab this real quick? Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and the evil and the pestilence. And right, like I just mentioned, you know, you had each prophet throughout each generation, you know, uh, you know, talking about the downfall of each kingdom, whether it was Egypt, whether it was uh, uh, Babylon, you know, whether it was uh, the Persian Empire, whether it was the or the Greek Empire, rather, what, rather if it was the Roman Empire, all the way up to uh, Babylon the Great right now, which is America, 
You know, we had different uh, prophets throughout each age, you know, talk about, you know, destruction of each kingdom, telling our people to repent, you know? Okay, so this is, um, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. All right, so um, if you're a prophet back in the day, you're going to be a prophet now. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, and the Lord um, said, uh, uh, I'm your how I change not. All right, so to see doesn't change, neither do the prophets. All right, like the brother read earlier, and now I know that second, uh, Sirach, huh. all right, with, with um, Hezekiah, and Zephaniah, and Micah. All right, and all of them were prophets, and they're all back today, man. Mm -hmm. Daniel's back today, all right, and the men of the Lord are um, um, standing, standing in the light, doing what they've always done. Huh. I got some, uh, let's see, I think it's in Luke. Luke, the first chapter. Let me get it. This is the book of Luke. Uh, let me do this. This is the book of Luke 1 and 68. I'm going to start ahead. Then the point is at 70. This is the book of Luke 1 and 68. It says, Blessed be the Lord Yahweh of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people. Verse 69. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Here's the point. Verse 70. Luke 1 and 70. It says, As he spake by the mouth, by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, right? Even going all the way back, you know, to, uh, to Adam and Eve. You know, the Lord had prophets back then, you know, prophesying the word, you know? You know, telling our people, do not this abominable thing that I hate, you know? <laughs> you know, even up to this point, you know, doing the same thing, you know? At each generation, the Lord has always set up his prophets. You know, just to land back on this uh, Luke 1 and 70, this is the book of Jeremiah 44 and 4, uh, the scripture I just quoted. It says, how bait, I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them saying, oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Right. These, these are the Lord's messengers. You know, the prophets are the Lord's messengers. You know, this is how the Lord speaks. You know, he speaks through his men, you know, uh, throughout the four corners of the uh, world that he set up, starting with our elders and our apostles on down. This is how the Lord speaks to the people, you know. Right. Um, this is wisdom of Solomon 104. For to me, this is so, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is served as sin. See, don't people going to have wisdom are the men of the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right? And, and the men of the Lord are, are, um, are uh, 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 ones entrusted with the truth. All right? Because a, a wicked truth is not going to be able to receive the, um, um, the gift of prophecy. All right? Like the Lord has bestowed upon his men, man. All right? So we know that the wisdom that we have, we've always had it, man. Mm -hmm. All right? The Lord... Uh, um, um, the Lord has done nothing but reveal the secret to his servant to prophets, man. Mm -hmm. All right, those prophets always had the secret. They always had the wisdom. They always had the word of Yahweh about Shemiah and Shai, man. All right, these other camps, these other people, uh, these false teachers, these pastors, hey, they don't have that wisdom. Why? Because they're not uh, 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 um, part of the elect, man. Because huh. that's what the scriptures say. It's given unto you, you know, uh, it's given unto you to know the mystery, uh, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven to them, and it's not given, you know? The, the prophets, you know, have these, you know, have the secrets that the Yahweh Shemel Shai, you know, has given them, you know, the secrets, you know, to understand the prophecies and uh, different things of that nature. But um, that's all I had, uh, really big up. Uh, Luke, uh, Luke 28 Oh, yeah, Luke 28 Oh, yeah, kind of have, but I'm going to bring it out again, actually. It's the book of, uh, it's the book of Jeremiah 28 and uh, 8. And it says, uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8, it says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right. <laughs> the Lord set up each prophet throughout each generation, you know, to, uh, you know, they prophesied the downfall of each kingdom. You know, whether it be Moses in Egypt, you know, what's that, whether it be Daniel and uh, going back to Babylon. Babylon, yep. 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 You know, different, you know, different examples like that. You know, you, we had the, uh, the disciples, the 12 disciples, you know, during the time of the Roman Empire. You know, telling our people to repent, telling our people that the kingdom of heaven uh, was at hand, you know, prophesying, not only prophesying, you know, uh, the downfall of kingdoms, but also prophesying, you know, the upcoming of kingdoms also, you know, the kingdom of heaven, you know, different, you know, different, um, you know, even, you know, even different visions that the, uh, that the Lord, you know, gave, uh, gave the men of the Lord, you know, All right, man, this is, um, yeah, so that is true, right? Oh, can I actually read that verse 9? I need to read verse 9. Verse 9, it says, The prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. Right. <laughs> Even with I started with our elders and apostles on down, you know, been uh, talking about, you know, different uh, prophecies that's going to come to pass. You know, one being the Revelation 13 and 16. 
which a lot of these camps get wrong, you know, which is the C hip, you know, which is the uh the M O T B, you know. Our elders and apostles, you know, uh, you know, having that gift of prophecy that you help out Shimei has has given them, you know. This to basically show you who the true men of the Lord are and who the Lord is dealing with. There's um uh Sirach 36 and um 15. To give testimony to those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. All right, so the hey, so the prophets have been possessed by the Yahweh Shmuel Shai since the beginning of the earth, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and they've been risen up. All right, they're risen up uh, 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 back in the ancient days, and even now. All right, they've always been around. They've always been declaring and prophesying the name of Yahweh Shmuel Shai, man. All right. It said, reward them that wait for thee and let thy promise be found faithful, man. Mm -hmm. All right? You know, and uh, 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 you know how shall I say, when he, when he returns, shall he find faith on the earth? Okay. And the answer is going to be yes. But why? Because the promise are here, man. You see? And that's what we're waiting for, man. We're waiting for um, um, uh, the Lord to come save us, the elect, the prophets, all right? And the um, uh, uh, one-third, all right, from uh, uh, um, for Egypt, from Babylon, from Esau's damn rulership, man. Kind, you know, those prophets, you know, um, because we know that Paul, you know, he got his crown, because what, and uh, I believe it's second address, the second chapter, how it talks about those that stood stiffly for the name of the Lord, you know, uh, and, uh, and basically uh, they had uh, received those crowns from Yahweh Shai, you know, because we already know the true men of the Lord, starting with our elders and our apostles on down, you know, is going to receive those crowns, you know, thus said the Bible. Just to basically show you that what you know that the uh, that the men of the Lord are back, you know. This is um, uh, Sirach forty eight, and um, you know, this goes you know this goes to a lot of the kings that we had a lot of the men of the Lord, a lot of the prophets basically. Mm -hmm. it's, um, Sirach forty eight and um, and seven. It said, "Who hears? Who heard us the rebuke of the Lord in Sinai and in Hor, the judgment of vengeance?" Who anointed kings to take revenge and prophets to succeed after him? Mm -hmm. So the prophets are always around, man, follow, um, 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 following the order that the Lord has set up, man. All right, who was that? Was it Elijah who hit the prophets by what, 50 in, in the cave? Mm -hmm. Hey, they've always been around, man. They've always been around. They've always been in danger. But more importantly, they've always been around. Uh, uh, I'm standing in their life. All right? Holding the torch, okay? Not hearkening. Uh, 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 or being uh, sidetracked with these other doctors, man. All right, but it's a very uh, profitable thing that the Lord has set up these men in the Lord from the beginning, man, to establish the way, all right, to lead people to the waters, of, uh, uh, to the fountain of the living waters, mm -hmm. to follow your house beyond shy, and it can only come through the men in the Lord, man. Kyle, what's that? Because uh, what, the prophets are back right now, you know, giving our people that, 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 uh, that, 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 uh, that true doctrine. What's that, Ezekiel 37, how it talks about, you know, uh, you know, us, war, you know, bring, you know, bringing back those dry bones, which is our people, mm -hmm. you know, you know, we're teaching our people, you know, waking up our people, you know, just to basically show you what, that the prophets are back, you all right. know. All right. um, that's pretty much all I had on last year. That was it. Kind of, so with that being said, uh, we hope it was edifying. We want to get, uh, we want to end up by giving our praise on the glory to Yahweh, oh. by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, yeah. by Hashem, Rekak, Wadash. Lord, we hope it was edifying. Until next time, Wah, Abba, Shalom, Wah. Shalom.